Hi, I'm going to step through cloning and building OpenJFX. This is using the latest B78, Build78 of JDK8, um, and it's on Mac OS. Now, there's a couple steps in here that are a little bit different than what's inside uh, the wiki, but by and large, we follow the steps in the wiki as explained, and everything should work just fine. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to make the directory that's going to uh, contain our OpenJFX code. So, we'll go ahead and CD into that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to follow the next step here and clone from master. So let me grab that and we are going to clone it. And uh, now I've got master. I can follow the next step, CD into master. And uh, from here, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create this artifacts SDK RT lib ext directory. Now the reason we need to create that is because JavaFX, OpenJFX is split into two parts. There's a closed part and an open part because we haven't finished open sourcing all the code necessary in order to build everything in open source. So as a result, what we're going to need to do is put the JFXRT.jar that contains the closed pieces into artifacts SDK RT lib ext and then um, we can just build the rest of the open source pieces as they are. Now, we could take a jfxrt.jar and strip out all the open pieces from it and just put the closed bits in here, but actually we don't end up doing that. We just take a complete jfxrt.jar from the latest weekly build, copy it into libxt, and off we go. So in order to do that, now that we've created the directory, we need to do the next step, which is to copy it. Now on Mac, all of the, the uh, Java Virtual Machines are placed into Library, Java, Java Virtual Machines. If I look here, I've got a few of them. I'm just going to grab the latest one, um, which for me is my Build78. Go to Contents, Home, Jerry, Lib, JFXRT, uh, LibExt, JFXRT.jar, and I'm going to copy that into Artifacts SDK LibExt. Okay, so now I have my binary stub in there. Um, now, there's one more step that I'm going to do, which is not documented, and this is a new, a new step that you're going to need to take. There's a, a couple different ways to do it. Uh, the essential problem is that JFXRT.jar now is on the boot class path of JDK8, and what that means is that whenever you run any Java program, including Ant, that copy of JFXRT.jar that is in JDK8 is the first thing on the class path before the binary stub in artifacts, SDK, RT, lib, ext, before any code that you're actually compiling or linking with right now. And because it's first, and because it's, it has all of the existing Java effects, sometimes you end up with a different method there than, say, a method in a class that you've modified. And then when you're trying to compile, you'll find that your, me your new method is never getting called. And that's because at runtime, the wrong class is the one that's being loaded, the class from the weekly JDK 8 build as opposed to the one that you've just built. And in fact, you will find in the wiki instructions that uh, we specify that this may be a problem down here. Here's the command line needed to run OpenJFX after you've built. Okay, You have to specify um, that you want to add your jar, your, your jfxrt.jar, uicontrols.jar, or whatever it is that you've built into the boot class path ahead of the rest of the JDK, and that way your classes get picked up. Now, it turns out that this is still a problem at compile time, not just at build time. So there's a couple ways to solve it. One is to specify what the boot class path is at the time that you build with Ant. But the way that I'm going to do it is to assume that the JDK is only installed for the pleasure of me building and not actually running anything. So what I'm going to do is just move gfxrt.jar out of um, the JDK's JRE lib ext directory and then manually include it if I need it into the class path when I'm running an application. So what I'm going to do is just sudo move library java java virtual machines JDK 8 uh, build 78 contents home JRE lib ext jfxrt.jar I'm just going to move that into my home directory and uh, then I don't have to worry about it. Okay, now we're set up, right? Almost. I found that on Mac, for some reason, um, my Java home needs to be specified at the time that I build or in a bash RC 
uh, some other location. I, I need to specify the environment variable Java home uh, because otherwise on my system sometimes the build gets confused and it picks up the wrong version of Java for building different parts of the platform and it gets upset. I don't um, understand why that is now. I'm trying to fix these sort of problems in our new Gradle build so we don't have this problem. But uh, for right now what I found is that the uh, best way to go is to just include build 78 contents home as my Java home and then I can just type ant. Ooh, that's a problem. Because I'm in the wrong place, I forgot an entire step. One should follow directions. So the next thing that I um, am going to do now that I have put things in the right places is that I need to clone the RT directory. So let's go ahead and clone it. Now that it's been cloned, I can CD into it as the instructions say. I can just run ant. And now we're going to wait a couple of minutes while it builds. Now we see that we've had a problem. Actually, there is a step that I forgot because it's not in the sequence of steps here uh, in the recipe. And the problem is right here, a little later down in the wiki. It says that you need the following files downloaded and placed in OpenJFX master lib. So these files are antler and version 3.1.3. Now the best place to go download these is from www.antler3.org slash download. And you can just go find antler 3.1.3.tar.gz. We'll download that. And then what I'm going to go do is go into my downloads. There, it's been downloaded, so we can just untar it. You can CD into antler uh, lib, and here we'll find the jars that we need. So I'm just going to uh, copy these jars into our OpenJFX. Oh, well, I would copy them, but first I have to make the directory. Uh, OpenJFX master lib. And now I can copy antler files um, there. Now if you're, you know, lazy, you could probably just copy all these jars over. It wouldn't hurt. It's just that you only need three of them. So I'll just copy over the three that I need so I don't have the extra copies laying around. But uh, it probably doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Now that those things have been copied over, I can head back over to my OpenJFX master RT. And now, let's try building again. It should be quite happy. Begin our two minute wait. And there we go. The thing finished building in just a little bit over two minutes. So those are the steps that it takes in order to uh, get it to build on uh, Mac OS.